the state of Maryland. April 2023 numbers, right? And once again, like I said, uh, the numbers for May come out a little later. So in the state of Maryland, it says uh, units sold. Oh, that's down tremendously. 2022, uh, April, 8,240 houses were sold. In May, I mean in April 2023, 5,456. That's a 33.8% drop. Um, the market is really, that is a huge change as far as, as far as April. Springtime is when things pick up. Um, between spring and summer, that's when a lot of transactions are happening. And uh, just a tip, quick tip for a buyer, you're going to get the house you want, but you're probably going to pay the most for it. You know, in the winter time, things kind of slow down. You could get deals, but then you may not get the house you want because it may not be on the market. So in the springtime, things start to heat up a little bit. And uh, so for for April and the numbers to be this bad is not a good sign, right? Um, average price actually went up. This is what I'm talking about. Um, you know... But maybe that, that law of supply and demand is at play here. Um, with less supply, inventory levels being low, the price goes up. And that's just what it is, even with the high interest rates and with everything else that uh, indicators that the market should be tanking and homeowners should be losing equity on their house. That is not what I have seen even on a personal level, the housing prices are still going up. Maybe because most the, the inventory levels kind of dictate that. And we're going to talk about housing shortage tracker. Um, I printed out some stats there, you know, and, and we're going to look at that a little bit. So in uh, Maryland, the average price of homes sold in the month of April in 2022 was $464,078. In 2023, April, $467,986. So almost close to a, um, a $4,000 increase, right? The change is 0.8% uh, positive. The median home price went up $6,500, believe it or not. In in Maryland, change of uh, one point seven percent. So, twenty twenty two median home price in April was three hundred and ninety thousand. Current median home price three hundred and ninety six thousand five hundred. So that's that's really what I've been seeing there. It's like uh, prices of home in, homes in Maryland are still going up even though the unit sold is dropping tremendously. Pending listings in uh, 2023, 6,856. In uh, April of 2022, 8,000. So the pending listings are down 8,643, down almost 2,200, right? Um, or down almost, yeah. 2,000 um, units. Active inventory. So looking at inventory levels, down almost 2,000 as well. Uh, here we're looking at in, in Maryland, active listings in April 2022, 9,300. 9, now it's like 7,500 almost, uh, which is, yeah. And then um, months, of inventory, April 2023, got 1.2 months of inventory. Now we are at 1.1. It says new listings down 10 from 10,008, almost 11,000 new listings to 6,500 new listings. Stick around and we're gonna, let's just, we're gonna talk about what this means for realtors, right? this type of market, what it means for real, real estate agents, what it means for buyers as well, and also sellers. Let me see if I can grab a pen. 
wanted to make a note of that so I don't forget. Um, all right, so let's look at the housing shortage tracker. Um, once again, this is from National Association of Realtors. Okay.